interior and I have a nice gradual curve that was one of the things I always am after in terms of uh, doing bowls. Uh, I like to see that interior curve just nice and gradual and we got that uh, by opening the clay up and working that area, the transition from bottom up to side and things so that there is that natural flow of, of the piece. Now I have a wooden rib that's uh, uh, got a, a curve to it but it also has a flat area and one of the things that we oftentimes do is flare out our rim with that. And another thing that we oftentimes do is uh, use another rigid rib that has uh, teeth on it that uh, gives us uh, a combed rim that is sort of one of the things that I think most people recognize as uh, sort of a signature uh, element of, of some of the things that we do. Um, yeah, I see a little air bubble there. Uh, using this, I back up the pressure that I'm going to be putting with the synthetic rib, get it moving slow, and do that combing that uh, eventually I wonder why don't you grab a platter or a bowl that has that and show them the end end product of what that looks like Using a the back end of the needle tool. It's just round like a dial dowel. And uh, I put a <clears throat> little groove there. And what that does, I'm thinking ahead to when I'm glazing, and that sort of creates a stop or a dam. Uh, when I pour glaze into this and do layering of glazes and things like that, I can swoosh the glaze around and it comes up to that rim and stops. Because eventually, as you saw in that finished piece, uh, we rub some glaze into the grooved combed areas and uh, then rub it off. So it's a mixture of, of the raw clay and glazed areas in, in the grooves of the combing and that accents that texture and things but uh, we don't put glaze onto the rim because it would sort of mask over the uh, combing part of it. I'm back to using that uh, natural elephant ear sponge to smooth the rim out and I'm taking some burrs off of any areas and just take a swipe over the last sort of clean clean up of that surface being sure that there's not water drops or something that could eventually uh, create some problems with the clay um, the next thing I'll do is I'll cut uh, this bowl away from the bat, but I'll leave it on the bat. It has to uh, stiffen up depending on the on the uh, conditions, uh, whether it's real dry and whatever. It might take, uh, you know, three or four hours at least to stiffen up before I can flip it over. I want to get me the uh, 